the chrome bar closest to you is referred to as a super curl. Oh, well, the, as, as many options, doesn't it? The camouflage bar is an easy curl. Which bar? Yeah. There's, I, can't, I yeah, can't see it. All I see is two chrome bars. Yeah, just if you just reach <laughs> out and just grab the... Oh, oh there, there, I yeah, feel yeah, it, there, but there I can't it see it. Yeah. There it is. It's almost invisible. Yeah. So we often get asked, you know, what's the difference? Which one's best? And we also, would we just decided to throw in... A um, straight bar. Yes. The main difference is I like straight bar for biceps, but then sometimes it can hurt your wrist when you go heavy. So that they call it easy curl, but it doesn't really make it easier. All it does is, you know, if your wrist is on this angle, it's not as bad as this when you're like that. Yep. It sort of kinks your wrist over so you get more strain. And this one here, you could go here. I guess you could go here for closer. I don't know if I really go there. Maybe if I was on a preacher, I'd come in closer, but all it really does is like alleviates the pressure off your wrist. So like, you know, this has many, many curling. You can either go here. Here's like a nice, that's a nice angle there on the wrist. Like I said, there's no knurling on here, but you could go in there if you wanted, even for a closer. If you're on a preacher bench, that'd be nice and close. But here's probably a good, which would almost be the same as the camouflage bar. And then too, I guess if you want, you can turn it that way when you want to do your reverse. Which you can do, like I said on this one, you probably can't see it, but I got a bar in my hand. <laughs> yeah, you can do your reverse there, see? And then, they just call it an easy curl, but really, you got 200 pounds, 100 pounds on it. There's really nothing easy about it. Yeah. It just, like I said, alleviates a bit of the stress off your wrists. Yeah, we can't really do a Pepsi challenge and blindfold you. <laughs> um. And then you got, like I said, I like the old, nothing still beats the old straight bar curl. And what, what's the, why, why is that your favorite? Oh, I just think because you just, you know, if you brought up doing it, back in the day, all we had was a straight bar. We didn't have all the options. Yeah. So it's just something you get used to and it just feels good. You get a good pump from it. See, you do the easy curl too, but I don't know. I think it's like, you know, if you do squats, yeah, you can do Smith machine squats, you can do other squats, but you can't really beat the old basic squat, so. Yeah. You can't beat the old basic straight bar arm curl. And you can still do reverse on these too if you want but your arm just feels a better angle, or well, your wrist does. And do you find it's when you're using a heavier weight that your wrists start hurting? Yeah, because yeah, like I said, it'll just, naturally that's as far as my wrist will go. Yeah. So if you put a heavy weight in the bar, it pushes yeah. it that bit further. You don't really notice it too much while you're doing it, it's when you stop and then you go to let go, you're like, ooh. Yeah. Because it's twisting you. But they're all good, but I prefer straight. I, I do a bit of both, really. I do straight some days, and other days I do easy curl, so. Depends what mood I'm in. So if you ha just buy that f feel then, obviously uh -huh. straight bar number one. What's your preference between easy and super curl? Well, like I said, the super curl almost feels that angle there there is almost the same as that this is probably a bit more i probably prefer to, this one the super cool one because you can go wider as well and do it you can go there and then the even though there's no knurling in the middle 
it feels really good in close as well. And I know a lot of the olden type bodybuilders used to do like close curls, saying it hits their biceps differently, so whether it does or not, I don't know, I still feel the bicep, but I'd probably go this, this for the more options, and then that. But then most gyms don't have this, so this is what you're going to have to do. And even on that, you can go here, like I said, and curl, but then you can go here too. And I normally use this grip here if I was doing preachers over the bench, uh, going close for the preacher. So yes, so the bar you cannot see is a good bar. <laughs> well, let's. So don't leave it around the gym anywhere because it'll be hard to find. Well, let, let's confuse him even more. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, here we go. More options. Yeah. So this is an ATX. Well, this one, would, this would be good, but it's more, would feel more for hammer. So you get the lower part of your bicep and forearm. Then if you even come in here, it's a really good, like, for hammer. You could have a hold it there or you could go this yeah, way. Yeah, no, what about if you grip it on the wide one that way, see how that feels. Yeah, lots of options, but yeah, it'd be really good for lower bicep and forearm. But you still feel it great in the bicep, so. Another option, all of them would do wonders. So like I said, you have so many options. Oh, here we go. No, oh, more. Wait, there is more. This is purely a, a curved hammer bar. That's good. Does it go that way or this way? Which way? Probably that way. It doesn't hit my quad, the front bit. It's really good for the stop right? Would be. Hmm. All great, all good, all will help your biceps and arms grow. So, with so many options, there is no excuse not to have good biceps. Even if you don't get them massively big, you should have good shape and some muscle on your arm. Yeah, and look, for, you know, for a customer, um, my advice would be don't overthink it. No. Um, just, you know, you a good a good straight bar and easy curl. Yeah. You can't go wrong. So. And look, you know, we're finding guys that are you know more financially secure. I guess they've been training for for many years. Um, they've got the space. So they, they just end up buying all of, all them, of them and... Well, if you get to that advanced stage, yes, but really, even if, like me, I'd still just go to straight and the easy curl. Oh, it's not so much advanced stage. You know, they might be just... Just want more options. Yeah, just then also, um, if, if training's your... You know, some guys, they're in a motorbike. Some guys mm -hmm. are into fishing. Yeah, so they and want to get all the different options yeah, for their yeah, bike or yeah, car. Yeah, so, they, so these are good. But these are really good. Like I just for hammers that and that one are yeah. very good as well. If you don't have dumbbells for hammers, yeah, that's another good option you can go with. Yeah, and if you're training at home and you've been training at home for a while, you need a like, bit of variety. Yeah, a little bit up. of a new toy every now and then, and they're not that expensive well, in the scheme like people, of things. People are in the gaming, get new gaming consoles yeah. or get new joysticks or VR goggles and so. Well, and you know, another way to put it is guys are into drinking yeah. or gambling and, mm -hmm. you know, they could spend whatever that is in an afternoon. Easy. <laughs> and um, But they don't look at it like that. They go, oh, you spent that much on that. Yeah, but like you said, some people are just into buying shoes. Yeah. They could be Nike and have... 50 pair of different Nikes. Yeah. Which are three, four hundred or more. Yeah. Six hundred, so. If it's gonna benefit you and you like it, it's your enjoyment, why yeah. not? Yeah, yeah. But if, if, you're, if you're struggling for a dollar. Yeah. Don't waste your money, just get a, 
a straight right. or an easy curl and yeah. Go for it.